Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out another best gaming monitor, which is the Samsung U28H750. We will compare it against similar and newer gaming displays in terms of image quality, performance, design, and value for the price. If you want more information and updated pricing on the product mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. If you are visiting this channel for the first time, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Okay, so let's get to the video. Image quality. TN panels are praised for their rapid 1 millisecond response time speed which removes trailing and motion blur of fast moving objects, that's why they are ideal for fast paced video games. However, such fast pixel transition speed comes at a cost as TN panels also have very narrow 160 degrees slash 170 degrees viewing angles which make the picture shift in color, contrast, and brightness when you look at the screen from certain angles. Additionally, in comparison to IPS and VA panels, TN monitors have the worst color quality and a mediocre contrast ratio. The Samsung U28H750, however, features the quantum dot technology which boosts its color gamut to 125% sRGB for more vibrant and saturated colors. It also supports 10-bit depth via dithering, 8-bit plus FRC, allowing for 1.07 billion colors as opposed to 16.7 million colors provided via 8-bit depth. Other panel-related specs include a decent 300 nit peak brightness and a contrast ratio of 1000 by 1 which is standard. Now, Equally priced IPS panels still provide more accurate and consistent colors whereas VA panels offer a significantly higher contrast ratio, tilde 3, 000 by 1. On balance, the Samsung U28H750 monitor offers an excellent image quality for a TN panel display, but it's still behind IPS and Virginia and while it does offer a notably faster response time speed in comparison to VA panels, the difference is minimal when you compare it to a 4K IPS monitor. Lastly, 4K Ultra HD resolution ensures stunning detail clarity and plenty of screen real estate thanks to the rich pixel density of roughly 158 pixels per inch. Keep in mind that for PC gaming at 4K, you will need quite a powerful configuration, even for 60Hz. Let's talk about performance. The Samsung U28H750 input lag performance is excellent with only tilde 10 milliseconds of imperceptible delay making it fit for competitive gaming. It also supports AMD FreeSync which synchronizes the monitor's refresh rate with the GPU's frame rate in turn eliminating screen tearing and stuttering with minimal input lag penalty, tilde 1 millisecond, unlike FSync which adds significantly more lag. FreeSync is supported over both DisplayPort and HDMI meaning that you can use it with Xbox One. The Samsung U28H750 FreeSync range is 40 to 60 Hz in the Ultimate Engine setting. When using FreeSync in an NVIDIA card with DisplayPort 1.2a, the Samsung U28H750 keeps disconnecting, requiring you to power cycle the monitor in order to get it to work with FreeSync again. So, it's not quite GS. So, it's not quite G-Sync compatible, though this may change with further NVIDIA driver updates. Features of this monitor. Other interesting features include black equalizer, brightens up dark areas in video games, picture-in-picture and picture-by-picture, iSaver mode, low blue light filter, and Samsung Magic Angle which alters the image quality to best match your viewing position. You will also find all the standard adjustments including brightness slash contrast, sharpness, color temperature, and 3 gamma presets. The Samsung U28H750 QLED monitor has a flicker-free backlight, so if you are sensitive to screen flickering, you won't get headaches after looking at the screen for prolonged periods of time. Let's discuss design and connectivity. While the Samsung U28H750 has a tilt-only stand, it's Visa mount compatible with a 100x100 100 100 pattern. Connectivity options include DisplayPort 1.2, HDMI 1.4, HDMI 1 to 4K 30Hz, HDMI 2.0, HDMI 2 to 4K 60Hz, and a headphones jack. The matte black design consists of thin bezels and slim profile while the base is metallic and provides excellent stability without any wobbling. At the back of the monitor, there's a joystick for easy navigation through the OSD, on-screen display, menu while the screen is coated with an anti-glare coating which eliminates reflections. 
Our opinion, while the Samsung U28H750 display manages to improve the image quality of its TN panel display and keep the rapid response time speed, there are numerous IPS panel alternatives available that offer just as a responsive gaming experience and a notably better image quality with HDR, wide viewing angles, and other bells and whistles. Thanks for watching the video. If you find this video helpful please help out the channel by giving this video a like or subscribe the channel and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below.